Hey everybody, Wrestling Figure Observer Podcast here with the final day of reveals at San Diego Comic-Con. Tomorrow is another day of San Diego Comic-Con, but according to Mattel, there are not going to be any new reveals tomorrow. So, what we're seeing right now is pretty much it, unless they're going to have like a huge surprise later on in the day, which I could think that they could possibly do, but I'm not really expecting it. What we haven't seen are Hardys, and I really am surprised about that because last year we got Shinsuke Nakamura, and if you guys remember, Shinsuke Nakamura made his debut on WrestleMania weekend, the Hardys also made their debut on WrestleMania weekend, so they sort of should have been able to make them, I feel, but um, on the other hand, they already had the parts for the Hardys as well, so for Shinsuke, they had to make a new head scan and everything, so... Not really sure what's going on. Maybe there will be like a big surprise coming up. But at this point, I'm not really positive that there will be. But we will see if there will be. I will probably let you guys know. But today had some uh, cool reveals anyways, I would say. And not too many, but, but, but a few of them. And I really want to thank Action Figure Tag on Instagram a lot for supplying the images to me. Really appreciate that. Check him out. He is at San Diego Comic Con covering everything from WWE to Star Wars. Everything. I'll put his Instagram link in the description below so you can check him out. And uh, I want to talk about the new figures here today. First off, we got a basic sting. Now all these basics already come with the new arm molds, which I'm not too sure about. We're going to talk about that tomorrow in another podcast. But a sting... Looks pretty good. I think it's the WrestleMania 31 sting and what they kind of did here is Like a mid-match sting where the face paint has kind of gone off a bit. So It's like nothing that we really needed bad. I feel but it's it's a good thing. I guess I'm not too excited about it, but it's an alright figure. We got a Bucky Lynch and a Bucky is pretty tall I feel like not really sure what's going on there. Seems like she has very long skinny legs. I don't know that I kind of noticed that it looks like really tall. I, I'm not too sure if that maybe is just the image, but I kind of feel that is the case here. A uh, brand new Becky head skin, which is probably her best one yet. So a really cool Becky figure besides the issues that she's like really tall. I feel so head skin. They really did a good job. Um, we have basic Rhino. And this is really cool because they uh, fixed the arms and he actually still has the old arm mold. So we will be able to put the arms onto our elites if we want to. And the thing here is I, I think I'm going to keep that rhino like it is because I really enjoy that figure. I like the red. So cannot wait to get my hands on that rhino. I really like that a lot. So really cool rhino. We got a WrestleMania 33 Rollins. Uh, should have been an elite. But that obviously doesn't mean we're not getting an elite of him because Mattel has been doing that all the time now. We did get the SummerSlam basic Rollins and now an elite 52. We got it as an elite. So I wouldn't say this means we're not getting a WrestleMania 33 elite Rollins. Probably will be. A head scan is the older one, the elite 45 one. So uh, there you go. Then we go over to the elites. We do have a Batista, that one uh, that we saw on the uh, render images from WWE.com. So we already kind of covered that one. And next off, we have Tyler Bate. And that is the UK exclusive that I talked to you guys about before. Now, this guy looks like a John Cena head skin they're using. I'm really not sure, but... I immediately commented that on, on Ringside's post when they put it up on Instagram. This looks like John Cena hat that they just modified. Kind of looks like someone made a custom Tyler Bate using a John Cena hat skin. So this is kind of weird. Maybe it will be different on the final product. But the hat skin I don't really like. The UK Championship looks really cool though. So this is a cool thing. This is going to be UK exclusive. And yeah, probably coming out November 15 I think it was so there you go we have a rich swan elite eh, like not too excited about it but the figure looks really good rich swan is like 
not really too much on TV anymore, I would say, but I don't really pay too much attention to the Cruiserweights anyways because I don't know what they did with that division. It just didn't work too well. Uh, but it's cool that we're getting a rich one. New first-time-in-the-line figures are always a good thing, so... Uh, there you go, Rich One, and also another cruiserweight that I've been talking about for a very long time. I told you guys like a few months ago that TJ Perkins was going to come out as a network spotlight figure. A lot of people didn't believe it, but now he got pulled out of Elite 53, and he is the next network spotlight figure after Ambrose, so... Uh, this is really, really good. Uh, I think they did a very good job on the head skin. The Cruiserweight Championship looks amazing. Comes with that metal. Like, they did, like, an incredible job on that figure. And it's going to be a Toys R Us exclusive, like I said. So, uh, there you go. TJ Perkins. Really, really awesome job there by Mattel. And we have a new Elite Bray Wyatt. And... I'm not really sure, I'm kind of thinking back, but this might actually be my favorite figure that they showed at Comic-Con. I just love it. I'm a huge Bray Wyatt fan, and you have seen all my customs of Bray. Now we're getting an official version. Really glad they're using the Elite 28 hat, because this is a really good hat skin. And they kind of added new hair to it. Um, it it's the Elimination Chamber attire, I would say, so... Same attire as the battle pack, but as an elite. Really awesome with that jacket. Now I don't have to buy the zombie because I think it's pretty much the same mold they're using. So, really awesome. Cannot wait for that Bray Wyatt. It just looks amazing to me. So, really looking forward to that a lot. And also we got a quick preview of Kurt Angle. Now this is going to be the first entrance grades figure in 2018. Now, this is a very, very, very early prototype. A lot of people are fighting online now about if it's going to be an elite or basic because back in the day, 2010, the entrance grades were basics with like cloth accessories and stuff. But some people think it might be an elite and actually looking at it, it might be. Now, the elbow pads and everything like that will be removable. It's just a very early prototype, so it's painted on. They just wanted to have something there to show you guys it's a very early prototype don't complain about that um yeah pretty cool Kurt Angle I'm more looking forward to a bold Kurt, Kurt Angle but this one is also really nice so entrance grades like I said coming back and yeah guys that pretty much wraps it up for today I'm sure there will be so many people be upset that we did not see Hardys. Like I said, maybe they pull a huge surprise on us and still show us some, but I'm not really too confident on that. I um, think that's it for Comic-Con today. And there's also a new series coming up that was revealed by Mattel in 2018. So they're doing a new line, and it's going to be the WWE Epic Moments series. And I love that idea already. I, I'm like looking forward to that. Because we have a picture here of a Kevin Owens, Chris Jericho, Festival of Friendship playset. Comes with Elite Jericho in his promo attire. Comes with an Elite Kevin Owens in his promo attire. Comes with all these accessories from the Festival of Friendship. This is awesome. I can see this line being incredible for us collectors. So... Really looking forward to that. Those are going to come out in 2018 apparently. So really, really looking forward to that a ton. This should be awesome. So this is a really awesome thing that was revealed um, by WWE.com, like I said. So these are coming as well. This was a really cool surprise because otherwise I felt like Comic-Con this year was a little bit underwhelming. There was a bunch of great stuff. But couldn't live up to the hype that last year's Comic-Con had. So, yeah, I'm still pretty happy with what we've seen. Like I said, Hardy Boys would have been epic, but apparently we're not going to see them. I don't know. Like I said, maybe they pull a surprise on us. But that is pretty much it for now. Hope you guys did enjoy. Let me know uh, what you are looking forward to the most here today. And, yeah, that is pretty much it, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. And i see you all in the 
next one.